Hi all! Now, let us have a look at how do we program 8051. That too specifically, how do we write an ALP to check if the number is positive or negative. But how do we write the ALP? Let us understand the logic behind telling a given number is a positive number or a negative number. So manually, if at all, if you look a number, how do you tell number is a positive number or a negative number? It is dependent on the MSB bit, right? If the MSB bit is equal to zero, it indicates the number is positive number. Else, if the MSB position is equal to one, that indicates the number on the test is a negative number. To automate this process, what am I supposed to use is a register. That too, in 8051, I'll make use of an accumulator register. And to check the MSB bit, MSB stands for most significant bit, right? To check that bit position, the value in MSB, I'll make use of the carry flag. So, I'll be making use of the accumulator, which is a 8-bit register, as well as the carry flag. I should store the result after this operation. For that reason, I'll make use of a register R1. This R1 should hold a value equal to 0 if the given number is positive, else I will load the R1 with a value 1 if the number is negative. Let us take an example and let me explain. Accumulator is loaded with value A5. So for simplicity, what I will do is, before I proceed, I'll clear the content of carry to 0. And since I've loaded the value A5 to accumulator, A5 hexadecimal to accumulator, the contents of accumulator looks like this. The first nibble A is nothing but 1010. One, Similarly, the lower nibble is 0, 1, 0, 1, which indicates the hexadecimal equivalent of 5. So, as I told you earlier, the result should be stored in the register R1. I will reset the content of register R1 to 0. Okay, since I'm supposed to just check what is the MSB bit content? What I'll do is I will take this content from here to the carry flag. So the MSB bit of accumulator should be shifted to carry flag. How do I do this? There is a logical operator in 8051 called as RLC. What it does? It rotates the content of accumulator along with the carry. So, just check what is happening. Left rotation of the accumulator along with carry is taking place. So, if I give RLC once, the content of accumulator will be left rotated by one position along with carry. So, what happens now? The accumulator value, which was A5, is updated with a new value to be 0, 1, 0, 0. So, the first nibble indicates this value is equal to 4 and this lower nibble is 1, 0, 1, 0, which is equal to A. So, the updated accumulator value is nothing but 4A. What am I supposed to check now? What was the content of carry flag? The carry flag was equal to 1 
means to say the given number is negative number since this is negative number r1 should be holding value 1 so r1 should be updated to value 0 1 having said this let us now try to write a code for the same okay now that we have understood how to find out whether the given number is a positive or a negative one now let us begin writing the alp code for the same i'm making use of register r1 to store the result for that reason i'm going to clear the content of r1 by moving an immediate value 00 to r1 register The number which I am supposed to check whether positive or negative should be loaded into the accumulator register only because the 8051 requires accumulator register as a mandatory register for performing any arithmetic or logical operations. Next I am clearing the content of the carry flag just for the sake of clarity. Here comes our logical operation a rotate left the accumulator content along with the carry flag. This rotation operation can be visualized as shown here. So, each bit is shifted left, means to say the MSB bit has been loaded into the carry flag. Now, depending on the carry status, we are going to decide whether the given number is a positive number or a negative number. So, see here, I am making use of a conditional jump. JC stands for jump if carry to a particular label called as next. So what am I supposed to do now? If the carry is set, then my duty is to set the R1 value to 0, 1, indicating the number is a negative number. Okay, after doing this, I'm not supposed to do any other operation for that reason I'm giving S jump dollar here. In a moment I'll get back to you. Before to that, what if carry was not set? If carry was set, I jump to the label called next. Suppose if carry was not set, then I'll be loading the register R1 with an immediate value 00, zero indicating the number under test is positive. You might wonder, why am I loading R1 with 00? Already R1 was containing 0 only. Okay, you can skip off this step as well. But it's a good practice to update whatever we want. Because we might have had accidentally used this particular register for some other operation. Just to be clear, we are resetting the value as per our requirement. Once after doing this, should I again run this statement? No, right? For that reason, I will make use of a unconditional jump. This is S jump, which will jump to the specified label here. This label is here. I'll be jumping to this particular line which performs no operation S jump dollar. Its equivalent is I can also specify this as S jump here. So what it does unconditionally it will be jumping to this particular label in finite times without doing any other operation. Finally 
we will put the end statement indicating that this is the end of the program. Now let us try to understand two different cases of the result. Case 1 I am putting the number which we considered which was A5 height that is nothing but 1010101. So before execution I had only reset the value of R1 is equal to 0. Now looking at the MSB of the given number which is equal to 1 this indicates the number is negative therefore after execution the R1 value should be updated to 1 which is R1 should contain 0 1. Let us consider another case when the given number is 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 which indicates Accumulator contains a number 25 hexadecimal. As you are all aware, before execution, I had reset the value of R1 is equal to 0. Now, looking at the MSB bit, what happens? The given number under test results in positive case. Hence, after execution, R1 should hold value. 0, 0. That's all. For you can find the code in the description. Thank you.